So tonight is not just any workout. Tonight I am bringing you my world tour workout in the comfort of your own home. Now tonight's workout is high intensity, but don't worry guys, I will be providing modifications. So for the people right now who are sitting down on the couch, I want you to get up because this workout is no equipment. So I want you to go grab some shoes. Doesn't matter what you're wearing, just get up. We're gonna work out all together. Now, while people are getting ready, I have a few things to say. So the first thing is go at your own pace in this workout. Don't get scared. You can go at your own pace. The other thing is I don't want you to stop. So I want you to keep moving through this entire workout. Now that means if you start getting tired, I don't want you to just sit down on the couch. I want you to do something else. Dance on the spot, pick your favorite exercise and do that. And the other thing, which is the last thing and the most important thing is I don't want you to stop moving until the music stops, okay? So you'll hear three, two, one, and music stops, and that's your break time. But until then, because I might stop, I might stop and give a modification over here. I might stop, but you can't stop. All right, so is everybody ready? Let's do this. Okay, so we are at home right now. We're in the space of our own mat, and we're gonna start with a warm up. So we're gonna get straight into it. Now, this warm up, I have added in, for the people who have done my world tour before, I have added in a little bit more mobility. This is, this is for me as well. Okay, so everybody ready? We're down on the ground, starting in three, two, one. All right, so we're gonna start in a child's pose. We're moving back. And then we're coming back up, laying down and stretching out our abs. Guys, I am so excited to bring you this workout. Back, laying down. So I'm gonna increase the intensity of this warm up. As we go, laying down, coming back up. That's it. And you can hold these for as long as you want. So about 10 more seconds, so we're moving on. Stretch it out. Good, now we're moving into some thoracic rotation. So we're going underneath our body and we're reaching up underneath our body and we're reaching up. Now I really need to work on this too, so. This is good. So we're doing one side at the moment. So you can do your left arm underneath your right side. We're going for a few more seconds. So again, we're just gonna increase the intensity. We're swapping sides, guys. So reach under, arm up, reach under, arm up. So focus on that rotation. Good. All right, moving into a hip flexor stretch now. So come to the back of your mat. We're in a lunge position, then you're going to bring your leg a little bit more forward and we're stretching forward. Trust me, you're going to thank me for this warm up in a second. Stretching out one leg. Perfect. Other leg. You can breathe out. You can even reach across your body. Good. All right, so we're moving into a 90-90 stretch. So, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. You're gonna lean forward, back straight. I'm telling you guys, you are gonna thank me for this. This is about to get, <laughs> it's about to get hectic. And you're gonna rotate. Lean forward. So watch me lean forward and rotate towards your back foot. Lean forward, so you're really stretching out that glute muscle. Mine is so tight from this week. A few more seconds. I'm gonna swap sides. So again, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Stretching forward, leaning forward and stretching across. Good, you about 15 more seconds. Now you can hold all of these. 
for longer, you can definitely lean into it, really feel that stretch. And then turn. All right, we're about to increase the intensity of this warm up. We're gonna get up in five seconds and we're gonna start jumping jack. Three, two, one. All right, so everybody out now, this is the warm up that you would all know and love from my world tour. We're doing jumping jacks. Well done guys. Now, if you don't wanna do jumping jacks again, don't stop. I know that I stop, but don't you stop. Keep those jumping jacks going. You can do like a little knee touch. If you don't wanna to jump, totally up to you, but I want you to keep going with those jumping jacks. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and down the ground into mountain climbers. That's it. So into mountain climbers, making sure your wrist and your shoulder is in line. I told you I was gonna increase the intensity of this now. You can also walk these in and out. You can even walk up and down, up to you. But for everyone else, we're doing mountain climbers. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and up into butt kicks. So you want your feet to touch your hands like so. That's it. Keep it up. You've got 10 seconds. 10, now we're moving into high knees. Five, four, three, two, one, and high knees. Up nice and high. Get that heart rate going, get that blood pumping. So don't worry guys, we're actually moving back down into that abs and child pose. So you get a nice little rest in between these high knees. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and back into that child's pose. See, I told you you'd thank me. Down, breathe. Coming up, stretching out those abs. Down, stretching out. Good, you have about 10 more seconds of this. Well done. Moving into that rotation now. So as you feel a little bit more warmed up, you might be able to go a little bit further now. Now you can slow this down as well. Three, two, one, other side. Guys, if you've just tuned in, this is no equipment. You can do this anywhere, anytime. So if you're at home right now, get up and join me. We're in the warm up at the moment. Three seconds, two, one, that's good. Moving into that hip flexor stretch. We're gonna breathe through this. Well done, keep breathing. Try and get lower each time as you breathe. Other side. Good. More seconds. Three, two, one, and back into that 90-90 stretch. Now you can go a little bit fast this time, so you can go down, forward, and across. Down and forward and across. But don't remember, remember we're just increasing the intensity of our warm-up. This is a breather. I'd call this a breather before we're getting up. Swapping sides, and going back into those jumping jacks. Keep warming that body up. You got five seconds, four, three. I want you to see you get up nice and fast. Two, one. Let's go straight into those jumping jacks. 
So I'm from Australia and I get caught up with this all the time. I call them star jumps. But I've learned now after years of tours, jumping jacks makes the most sense. Good, you've got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds. Four, three, two, down the ground. Let's go straight into those mountain climbers. Again, for the people at home, to modify this, you can just walk through these, or walk up and down. Up to you. But I would like everyone, if you can, possibly to run on the spot. Good, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds. Four, three, two, up. That's it. Straight up. Now while you're here, I know it's hard, but try and take a few deep breaths as you're doing this. So in through your nose, out through your mouth. Everybody know the drop when I'm in it. I drop the top when I'm in it. Everybody know the drop when I'm in it. Yeah. Good, good guys. You have 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds. Four, three, two, into high knees, straight into high knees. That's it, you want your core on. Now again, ladies, don't stop to modify. You can march on the spot like this. So anyone feeling a little bit tired, out of breath, march on the spot. Good, you got 10 seconds. This is the last bit of the warm up. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Well done, grab a drink. And we're gonna get into the actual workout. Okay, so, People laugh at this point because normally I don't do that mobility at the start. I just do three rounds of that high intensity. <laughs> but we are going to get into the workout. So this is how the workout works. We are going to start breaking down into body parts. So we're going to do lower body, we're going to do some upper body and then some abs. So right now we're starting with legs. So how this works, you have three exercises, three rounds but don't worry, you're only doing the exercise for around 20 to 30 seconds. And I'll walk you through the entire thing. So, the exercises are a pop squat. You can do these a lot of different ways, but out, touch the ground, I swap hands. You can do it with both hands, totally up to you. So a pop squat. Into a reverse lunge, which means we're going backwards. Now ladies, if you have a chair or a couch, you feel a little bit off balance, you can actually hold it for balance. But for now, reverse lunge. And then we're gonna go down to the ground into a glute bridge. Okay, there are your three exercises. There are three rounds. Each round, each exercise is around 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go, 30 seconds. Now, ladies looking for a modification for this. Again, remember I said, don't stop if I stop. So you guys keep going with this. We're just gonna modify, you can modify into a squat. Or if you have a couch behind you, you can do a little sit squat, totally up to you. Good, you got 12 seconds. 10 seconds. Pop squat. Sitting back. Really sitting back. Three, two, one, and reverse lunge. Now ladies, if you want to make this harder, you can do a jump lunge if you want your legs really to burn. Even if you have a chair or a couch in front of you, you could even do step ups. So we're doing reverse lunges. You've got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and down on the ground, lying down, and a glute bridge. Up and squeeze, and back down. Up and squeeze. And back down, 20 seconds. And you're straight back in to those pop squats. So you can increase or decrease the intensity of your workout by going a little bit faster, a little bit slower. Totally up to you. Three, two, one, straight up, let's go. Pop squat. 
Really sitting back. Now you don't have to go as fast as me. You can jump out. Take your time with a squat. Jump back in. Jump out. Take your time with squat. Again, there's that sit squat that you can do. Lots of different things. Ten seconds. Why well, I lied. You've actually got three seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Reverse lunge. Again, you can do a jump lunge. You can do a step up. Really focus. Well done. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Down the ground. This is round two. You've got three rounds. You should feel your legs burning. If you don't, we can increase the intensity, jump a little higher, go a little faster. If they're burning a lot, slow it down. Up and squeeze. You can even hold that squeeze for a few seconds. Just come back down. Up and squeeze and come back down. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go straight back up. This round's much shorter. I'm gonna give you around 15 seconds to really push yourself through these last few exercises. Six seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go reverse lunge. 15 to 20 seconds of as fast as you can go. Really push it out. Get outside of your comfort zone. Good. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and down the ground. Quick transitions, ladies. Up and squeeze, and up and squeeze. Perfect, up and squeeze. Last few seconds. You have 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done and break. Woo! My legs are burning. All right, so let's give our lower body a little bit of a break. We're gonna move into arms now. Now, we have three exercises here. No, it's exactly the same, guys. So you've got three exercises. You have three rounds. Exactly the same as what you did. Let's go through the exercises. So while I'm doing this, grab a drink. You can stretch out your legs if you want to. So the first exercise is a lay down push up. You can do it two ways. So you can do it on your toes or from your knees. Up to you. Okay, so that is the first exercise. The second exercise, staying in the same position, we're going into a shoulder tap. So again, you can do this from your knees or from your toes. So shoulder tap, touching your opposite hand to shoulder, not swaying too much. And then, <laughs> Everyone's favorite exercise. Well, actually, no, second favorite. Let's say commanders is everyone's favorite. Plank. So we're just going to hold that plank for 30 seconds and then moving straight back in to those lay down push ups. All right, everyone. If you're not already, get down on your mat. No equipment workout. Let's do this. We're doing arms. Three, two, one. Let's go. 30 seconds start now. So out, in, and up. Now you want to hover your hands slightly off the ground as they come out and back in. Now you can slow this down, you can speed this up, but you want to come up as one. If you're not coming up as one, drop down to your knees, hands out, hands in, up nice and strong. Both are right, both are correct, both are push-ups. That's good, keep it up. You have five seconds, four, three, two, one, and into shoulder taps. Touching that opposite shoulder. This also works for core, ladies. This is so good. It's good, keep it going. You have 10 seconds. I keep checking my watch. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and down to that plank. If you can get straight down into it, that's great. We're holding for 30 seconds. 
good. We've got 20 seconds. Now take this time. You can drop down to your knees. Take this time to take a few deep breaths. So in through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Keep that core strong. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Lay down, push up. So this is round two. Good. Out and in. Ladies, I know it hurts. Like I know you're sore. But this workout was designed to get you out of your comfort zone, get you sweating at home, get that blood flowing. You have no idea, like there are so many women around the world doing this, you are not alone. You can go on your knees. You have five seconds, four, three, two, one, up in those shoulder taps. You're not alone, just remember that, you're not alone. There are thousands of women all over the world doing this workout with you. You got this, keep going. Drop down to your knees if you need. Hold that core nice and strong. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Into that plank. World Tour workout, ladies. World tour, this goes around the world. So many women have already done this workout and love this workout. Modify to suit you. You got 10 seconds. Again, dropping down to your knees if you need to breathe. And making sure you breathe as well. All right, we're going to move into our last round. Three, two, one, let's go, last round. Really push it out. Now, if you feel like you're, you're coming up, like this, you want to maybe drop down to your knees and modify. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Moving into those shoulder taps. Woo, my arms are burning. That's good, you got 30 seconds. So you're really transferring that weight from hand to hand. Not too much swaying. Drop down to your knees. You have three, two, one, down. 20 seconds, let's count it out together. 19, 18, 17, 16. You've got 15 seconds to go. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10 seconds, nine, eight. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, break. Woo! Okay, it is very hot. And if it helps, my arms are burning too. Okay, grab a drink. We're moving on to abs. So this is my favorite, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite. Maybe not your favorite, but my favorite. Okay, so the exercises are a bent leg raise. So again, I'll give modifications for this, don't worry. So bent leg raise. You can move into, you can, you will, you will move into <laughs> an X plank. So we're touching our opposite hand to foot. You can practice these or you can just watch me, totally up to you. Again, if you are sitting down watching me work out, I want you to get up right now, even if it's just for this one circuit, get up and move straight into our bikes. So three rounds, our abs are gonna be burning. If you are standing up right now, lie down on your back. <laughs> three. Two, one, let's go, 30 seconds. Bent leg raise. Good. Perfect. That's it. Keep going. You have 10 seconds. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five. I'll give you a modification, guys. You can continue with this modification. You can move on with me. Totally up to you. Four, three. I'm doing personal training counting. Two, one. Moving over into an X plank. That's it. Touching that opposite foot. Good. You got 30 seconds. 
Now you don't have to touch your opposite ankle, guys. You can just touch your knee. If that's what you meant, totally up to you. Good, good, good. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. It's an ab bite. Good. Into ab bite. So what you're doing here is you're rotating your torso. Touch your opposite leg, that's it. Oh God, I am struggling here, guys. Keep it going now. You don't have to reach out so far. Little movement if you need. Three, two, one. And moving back into those bent leg raises. Now, again, if you're finding this difficult, knee to your chest, back down. That's it. So what I'm doing right now, if, you, if you're watching me, my head's up. The reason I have my head up is to push my lower back into the ground. So if you find that your back is arching as you reach your legs out, lift your head up a little bit. You've got five seconds, four, three, two, one. Turning around, sit, and touching your opposite foot. your last, well not your last, the second round of 10 seconds, three, two, one, good, okay, so last round a little bit faster, 15 seconds, 14, 13, 12, 11, you've got 10 seconds, again, really feel that core, four, three, two, one, over. Make sure you always land in that push-up position when you're coming back. It's almost like you're about to do a push-up, but you don't, and you go back. So think about that when you're doing it. You don't want to keep your bum high the whole time. Three, two, one, swapping over. Ab bikes. Last 15 seconds. I'm getting up. Don't you get up. Don't get up. You have five seconds. Let's go. Push it out for the last five seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. Whew. Okay. <laughs> so normally when I'm doing my world tour, I'm like, don't walk out, but really don't walk out, okay? <sighs> Let's keep going. All right, so we've done everything. You feel like we've done everything, right? We are moving on to something that you can do absolutely anywhere. If you ever think, you know, I want to get a quick workout in, whether it just be two minutes, that's going to haunt you, two minutes, you're going to do this, okay? So what you do is you pick two exercises, and you do 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Now, if you're fortunate enough to be standing next to someone right now, maybe your sister, your partner, whoever, I want you to do this workout together. So if you are next to someone, I want you guys to separate, okay? So one person here, one person here. Or you can go on teams, whatever, however many people there are right now. If you're by yourself, that's all good. You're just gonna move from one side to the other. Okay, so what happens in my world tour? I'm stalling, I'm giving you guys a break here, okay? You let me talk. You guys grab a drink. So what happens in my world tour is I crowd split you. So I'll be like, you guys on this side doing this, you guys on this side doing this. Right now, we obviously don't have a crowd split, do we? So we're just gonna move from side to side on this mat. Okay, so the first exercise is a drop push up. Now I'll do this side on. So what you're gonna do is like you're about to do a burpee, so you're putting your hands where your feet are, jumping back, dropping down into a push-up, coming back up, standing up. This is a good one because you can have a break when you're standing up. You can take a little bit longer to drop back down. So a drop push-up, you can also drop down to your knees, do a push-up and stand back up, okay? The next exercise is high knees. Okay, so the other person, if you have another person, we'll be doing high knees on the spot. 
When I call out swap, you're gonna swap. It goes for two minutes. All right, so one of you pick high knees, one of you pick a drop push up. If you're by yourself, you're doing both. We're gonna start with, well, I'm gonna start with, if you're by yourself, drop push up. Three, two, one, let's go. All right, so you're gonna drop down into a push up and come back up. You've got 30 seconds, the other person will be doing high knees. If you have no other person, that's okay. So you're doing this for 30 seconds. Again, you can break at the top. You can take a few breaths up here. One, two, psych yourself up, go back into a push up. That's good. Three, two, one, swap. High knees. Keep going. 15 seconds. Again, remember what I said before, you can actually do this on the spot. Totally up to you. Three, two, one, swap. Standing up, taking a breather. That's it. Remember, you can drop down onto your knees. So with this workout, again, don't stop. I'm stopping to talk to you. It's only two minutes, guys. So just two minutes. Really just think about that. I only have to work out for two minutes. <laughs> perfect. Three, two, one. That's good. This is your last few seconds, guys. Really push it out. It's good, you got 10 seconds. Again, modify if you need. Five seconds, keep it up. Four, three, two, one, break. Okay, grab a drink. Okay, so that's two minutes. We're gonna do it again. So, we're gonna do a high plank and a caterpillar crawl. So, high plank, super easy. It's just a plank. When I call out swap, you're going to walk yourself back, stand up, back into a high plank. Walk yourself back and stand up, caterpillar crawl. So we're gonna swap between those two exercises for two minutes. Starting in, everybody up. Everybody ready? I'm saying this because historically world tour, people are still on the ground. So if you're still on the ground, you're laughing at me right now. Stand up. Okay, starting in three, two, one. So start with the caterpillar crawl for 30 seconds. Again, if you're with a partner, your partner could be doing the high plank. You're moving, the other person's not. Keep that core strong. Keep that core strong, that's good. Standing up. Five, four, three, two, one, and holding that high plank. So just holding that high plank. Now if you can't hold a high plank, if your wrists are sore, you can actually make a fist on your mat, or you can drop down to your knees and release some of that pressure. Good, you've got 10 seconds. 10, 9, take this time to breathe. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back into that caterpillar crawl for 30 seconds. So crawling out. Now ladies, if you want to make this a little bit harder, you can add in a push-up. I don't think anyone's going to be doing this, but push up and back out. Totally up to you. I'm just doing it. Got 10 seconds, guys. Nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Hold that high plank. So take a few deep breaths. Really understand your body right now, understand how it's feeling. 
Understand that you're out of your comfort zone and you could easily give up, but you're not going to. Keep going. Your last seven seconds, really hold it. You can have a break after this. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. <sighs> well done. Okay. Now, this works normally, but I feel like <laughs> it's not going to be as effective. So normally at World Tour, I say, does anyone know how many minutes one BBG circuit goes for? And everyone says, seven minutes. I say, that's right, we're going to work out for seven minutes. But obviously, uh, <laughs> we can't do that on a large scale. But what I'm telling you right now is we're going to work out for seven minutes straight. Don't look at me like that. We're going to work out for seven minutes straight. This is how it works. We are going to repeat every exercise that we just did for seven minutes straight. Every 30 seconds, the exercise changes. Okay? Now, this is the most important. Do you remember what I said at the start? I said, if you're starting to feel sore or you want to give up, you can dance on the spot, pick your favorite exercise. This is the time to do this, ladies. This is the time to do this. So, if you start to feel sore, you start to feel like you want to give up, don't. Okay? Dance on the spot. Pick a different exercise. Totally up to you. Modify this to suit you, but we're doing it for seven minutes straight, non-stop. I want everyone to go have a drink, everyone to get their towel, wipe your face, and get ready to work out non-stop for seven minutes straight. Now, to make you feel better, that will be the end of the workout. So you can say, I did the Kayla Tinas World Tour in the comfort of my own home if you finish this last seven minutes, okay? Think about it in your head, it's only seven minutes. Are we ready? Three. Are we ready, guys? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yep, okay, cool. I can hear you. Three, two, one. Let's go, seven minutes, pop squat. So you just follow along with me. When you hear five, four, three, two, one, you're gonna change exercises. So you know, we're doing those legs first. Pop squat, now remember, if you're tired now, you can sit down on something and stand back up. Sit down on something and stand back up. 10 seconds. Yes, ladies, well done. Three, two, one. We're moving straight into those reverse lunges. Straight into those reverse lunges. Head up, back straight. When you're doing reverse lunges, shoulder width apart, okay? Remember that, shoulder width apart. So you don't lose balance. If you are losing balance, hold a chair, hold a couch, whatever's near you, hold a wall. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Down on the ground, 30 seconds of glute bridges. You do not have to do these again. You do not have to do them again. So really push it out. You know this is the last seven minutes of this entire workout. Last seven minutes out of your comfort zone. I've said this a thousand times. Like just truly push yourself. Do not give up. You got seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Lay down, push up. That's it. Lay down, push up. Thousands and thousands of women have done this workout all over the world. And you're now one of them. You've got a few minutes to go, guys. Push it out. You have 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, into shoulder taps. Three, two, one, let's go. Shoulder taps. You got this, ladies. Remember, you can drop down to your knees if you need. Drop down if you need. Killing it. Guys, we are smashing this. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, bent leg raise. That's it. You got this. 
Breathing, don't hold your breath through these, don't arch your back through these. 10 seconds. Let's go, let's go. Three, two, one. Oh, I almost did the wrong thing. Our bike. I got too excited. Oh, feel the burn. Our bikes. Legs all the way out if you can. Do me a favor. You have 10 seconds. Go slow motion. Go slow motion. Go slow motion and really feel the burn. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Up into X plank. You should really feel your abs after those slow motion ab bikes. We're killing this, guys. Don't give up. Keep going. You have four, three, two, one. Let's go into high knees to get those knees up nice and high. You're four minutes in. You're four minutes in. Four out of seven. Let's go. High knees, high knees. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is so exciting. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Drop push up. Well done. Take a breather at the top if you need. You have 15 seconds. Do that knees, do the knees if you need. Well done. Five seconds, stopping in five, four, three, two, one, and we're walking out. And walking back in. Walking out and walking back in. Woo! We're almost done. I feel like everyone who's done my world tour knows what's coming. <laughs> don't, don't stop if you already know. If you know, you know, guys. The rest of you are just gonna have to wait. Three, two, one, mountain climber. This is where it gets hard, all right? This is that uncomfortable zone I'm talking about where it's like more than uncomfortable, but you're gonna do it anyway. We got this, guys. You got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and hold that high plank. All right, listen. You already come this far, so you can't stop now. We have one minute to go, and one exercise to go after this. And that exercise is burpees, okay? And we're gonna finish this world tour workout because it wouldn't be a world tour workout without burpees. We're going to 30 seconds of burpees, starting in, starting in five seconds. To end this entire workout, five, four, three, two, one, and burpees. You're gonna go up, down, out, in, up, and back down. You can modify these by touching the ground, walking out, walking back in, standing up or touching the ground, jumping out and jumping in, standing up, totally up to you. But you have 15 seconds to go before the entire workout is over. I'm counting you down, I'm right here for you. You're ending this workout in five, four, three, two, one, and done. Woo! Ladies, one second. <laughs> Ladies, I'm so proud of you for completing a Calotina's World Tour workout. That was absolutely, absolutely incredible.